Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can check what your users are sharing externally from your site. Uh, so here's a scenario. I have this uh, team site, uh, happens to be a team site tied to a Microsoft 365 group. And I have a document library. And of course, you know, sometimes users, you know, get to share some of the files or folders externally. I actually have recorded a video on how to do that. Um, you know, previously, you can find it on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, so after your users share a bunch of files and folders externally, you might want to find out, uh, well, uh, what exactly has been shared externally. Uh, you can actually easily do that through the site usage report. Here is how to access it. All you need to do is just click on the gear icon, site usage. And uh, you will get uh, to see some uh, information about uh, the visitors, some site statistics, all that stuff. We're not interested in that uh, today. Uh, we're interested in what our users are sharing externally. And look at this, at the bottom of the uh, page, at the bottom of this report, uh, there is actually a, a section called shared with external users. And it shows you all the files and folders that have been shared from that site externally. And, um, you know, for example, you, you can see that this uh, folder has been shared uh, externally. Now you might be wondering, well, uh, who was it shared with? Um, what you can do very conveniently from here, click three dots and click view permissions. And on the right hand side, it will show you the permissions of that particular folder. Um, so over here at the bottom, it just shows you the site level permissions, essentially who has access to this folder, direct access, I guess, just because they have access to the site. But look at this here, uh, under links, uh, given access uh, section, you can actually see uh, the link that was generated and you can even see who the uh, this particular folder was shared with. In this case, this U Gmail user, all right? So very, very convenient. One other thing I want to show you, uh, which is also very, very cool, is you can actually run a report. Uh, I mean, this might not be the most user-friendly way to uh, read the data. So what you can do, you can run the report. And the way it works, you just need to save it somewhere. It generates an Excel document. You need to save it somewhere. So we might as well just you know, pick this folder. Doesn't really matter within our library. And uh, after a few seconds, the report will be saved in that folder in Excel format. Let's go and check it out. So here we go. I'm uh, clicking on this, my general folder. Here we go. Look at this. Here is my Excel document. Uh, let's check it out. And uh, here it is. Uh, essentially, it just shows uh, uh, all the, you know, again, it gives you an extract of all the files and folders that have been shared externally. And uh, look at this. I just want to show you something. We just remember we just did this folder right here. Here we go. Uh, it has a row for that. It pretty much uh, explains this uh, in this particular column on the username. Uh, it actually shows you who it was shared with in this particular case, uh, this particular user at uh, gmail.com. All right, so uh, very, very convenient, uh, in my opinion, uh, very convenient report uh, for you, the site owners, to uh, take a look at in case you're wondering uh, who has access to your data. Uh, definitely worth checking, that, uh, checking this out. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.